Hi, I'm Karen. Thanks for joining me today for 45 minutes of Pilates. We're going to be working our core from the collarbone down to the middle of the thighs. So it includes the abdominals, but it also includes the obliques, your back muscles, all the stabilizing muscles. We're going to be using two paper plates today. And so I will incorporate those inner and outer thighs. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and one small weight, I'm using a three pound weight but anything between one to five pounds. Um, you could also use a, um, an unopened water bottle or a jar of peanut butter, anything like that. So um, make sure to focus, kind of put everything to the side before you start class today, because working the core, we want to take small steps towards getting stronger. We don't want to try to do too much at once. Imagine, just picture a ladder that if you tried to skip steps, and do try to do one more, you know, one step more rather than just one at a time, you're gonna eventually fall. And um, that's kind of an analogy of what happens when we try to do too much at once. So just take things at your pace, take one step today towards uh, strengthening your core, stretching your muscles, creating long lean muscles, a good posture and breathing. Here we go. Of course, doing Pilates today, we're gonna be working our core. We are using two paper plates. So go ahead and grab those if you don't have them already. And we're also using one small weight. So that's, those are our toys we're using today. So let's go ahead and sit with our legs about the width of our hips apart. Let's take those shoulders down, bring your chin in your chest. Let's just take some deep breaths in and out. Just try to bring ourselves present here Focus on working our muscles, stretching, and feeling good at the end of class. Let's walk those fingertips between our feet, relax our feet, and just start to bend your elbows. So as you exhale, just sinking that chest down just that little bit more. Let's go ahead and walk ourselves back. You can bring those feet a little farther apart if you want to. Take a nice breath in. And let's come on over to your left. You can hold on, or to your right, excuse me. You can hold on to your leg or your foot, wherever that hand ends up. Just start to bend your elbow and let that left arm droop over the ear. And let's bring ourselves towards that right leg, chest sinking toward your thigh. End of your exhale, let's walk those hands down the middle, relax your feet, start to bend your elbows and breathe. Good, let's walk those hands back. Shoulders away from your ears, you can flex those feet, nice breath in. And over to your left, you're reaching for your shin, ankle, or foot, glancing to the ceiling. Left elbow bends and that right elbow and arm just droop over the ear. And with both hands on that left leg, nose towards that knee, your chest is sinking down. And exhale, let's walk our hands to the middle with those feet relaxed. Bending your elbows. Good, let's walk those hands back. Let's remember that nice Pilates scoop. So think about pulling that belly button away from the front of your shirt, scooping it up towards the rib cage, engaging your middle the whole time. So let's go ahead and grab your weight Let's lean towards those ankles. Just fold yourself forward. And let's come on up, shoulders away from those ears, and let's just roll down one vertebra at a time. And with our head down, let's bring the weight over the head and bring those knees close to your chest. We're going to go ahead and extend the legs out. Reach nice and long. 
Good, and bring that weight towards your knees. Let's do that two more times. Really engage your middle as you extend the legs. Good, let's do that one more time. Reach. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it in. Put one leg down. And then the other nice and controlled from your middle. Come on up first. And then reach towards those ankles. Chest sinking down. Good, shoulders down. Let's fight gravity. All the control is through the middle and keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Good, those knees are in. Let's extend out for four and in. Good, three, nice, strong through the middle. Two more, engage the middle, especially as you extend those legs. Good, one more time. And bring it in, let's put one leg down. And then the other, strong from the middle, come on up. And fold. Good, let's do that one more time. Shoulders away from the ears. Fighting gravity, abs are strong, keep breathing. Let's pull the knees in, rest the head. Extend it out and bring it in. Good. Did we get some? Oh, I think some Lindsay might have. I'll try to let him back in if he comes back. Good. One more time. Bring it in and extend it out. Good. Let's place one leg down and then the other strong from the middle. Come on up. And let's fold. Good, we're gonna put the weight down and we're gonna go ahead and lean back onto our forearms. So either your forearms or your palms, abs are nice and strong and we're gonna pulse using both legs for scissors. So we're gonna take one leg down and pulse and then the other. Good, one leg down and then the other, keeping the middle nice and engaged. Very strong, straightest legs as you can. Last eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and one, good, come on back. Hug the knees into the chest and let's look over one shoulder to stretch your neck. And switch. Good, now hands behind the head. You're not gonna pull on the head and neck, but we're gonna do a double bicycle. So one knee is here, you're going to twist, twist, then you're gonna switch. So one, two, for each knee, you're twisting twice. And think about moving from that rib cage area, not from the head and neck. Twist, twist. Good, let's do eight more. Seven. And five, four more, three, two, and one. Allow those knees to fall to the right and look to your left. Take a breath. And let's switch. Knees to the left, look to your right. Good. All right, come on up to sitting. Press shoulders away from our ears, engage the middle. Lift one leg up. You're welcome to lift both as long as that back's all right. Knees together if you can, chest is open. Deep breath in. And exhale, feet together. Let's pull those heels towards you. Hold on around the 
toes, shoulders down, and just lift that head up and bring your nose towards your toes. Good. Let's go ahead and come to your hands and knees. Arch up into that nice cat stretch. Glancing up to the ceiling. Good, wrists below your shoulders. Let's do those two great push-ups, keeping the abs nice and lifted up. Let's lift those right toes slowly up and down for four, three, two. Now all the way up and let's walk those hands back. Nose towards your left knee. And right foot gently lunges between your hands. And let's bring that chest up, tuck the pelvis under and lean back. Good, now let's extend that left leg behind us. Find a focal point and hamstring curl for four, three, two, and one. Lunge again, lean it back. Good, palms down. Right foot back. Let's come to those forearms and let's tap in front of us as far as you can for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Knees down whenever you need to. And good. Knees apart, big toes together. Exhale, sit it back. Give yourself that nice cat stretch, glancing to the ceiling. Good, let's do those two great push-ups. Chest leading, abs are lifted. Right leg again, same leg. You're gonna slowly lift for four, three, two, all the way up. Walk those hands back, nose towards your left knee. Gently swing through. That right knee is right above the ankle. Tuck the pelvis under, lean it back. And let's extend that left leg behind you. Keep those abs strong. Hamstring curl for four, three, two, and one. Gentle lunge, lean it back. Good, you're on those palms. Right foot back. Come to those forearms. And let's tap in front of us. Feel free to take those knees down when you need to. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees apart, big toes together. Exhale and breathe. Great cat stretch. Glancing up. And let's do that one more time, you guys. Wrist below your shoulders. Two great push-ups. Right toes up and down for four, three, two, then all the way up. Nose towards that left knee. Gently swing through. That right knee is right above the ankle. Let's lean it back. Good, let's extend those left toes behind us. Abs strong, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, and one. Gentle lunge, lean it back. Good, your palms. Right foot back and come to those forearms. Last time tapping, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Knees apart, big toes together. Exhale, breathe. Good, nice cat stretch. Glancing up to the ceiling. And we're gonna go ahead and come to a forward fold. So let's tuck your toes under, bring those feet together, 
Hold on to the opposite calf. Straighten those legs best you can, nose toward your knees. Deep breaths. Let's engage your middle, roll it up nice and slow. Shoulders back. Good, now let's go ahead and grab one of your paper plates and then go ahead and grab your weight as well. So one paper plate as well as your weight. And let's slide that right leg behind us, bringing the weight in front of you. So slide it behind you and up. Good, the right leg is the one moving. Slide it way back and hold just for a second. And up. Good, slow and controlled. And try to linger back there for just a second each time. Let's try eight more. And seven. Good, six. And five. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one more. Good, let's lift the right knee up. And let's extend the toes and the weight can go up as well. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Shake it out. And let's go ahead and bring our right foot to the glider again, our makeshift homemade glider. We're going to slide the glider to the right and the weight's going to go to the left, okay? So we're going to bring that weight up to the opposite side. Utilizing those inner and outer thighs. Those hip abductors as well as adductors both help to support your knees. So working those inner and outer thighs is not simply for aesthetics, it's for your knee health as well. Let's do eight. Seven, good posture, standing up tall. Six. That's five. Four. Three, two, and one. Let's keep the weight up if that's okay for your shoulders. Side crunch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to bring those feet together. Right arm reaches. Good stretch. All right, let's put the weight down. Come to the back of your mat, please. Engage your middle. Let's walk those fingertips down. Lock those hands out. And with wrists below the shoulders, take your right leg out, left leg out, right knee to elbow, left knee to elbow, right toes out. You can always keep one knee on the ground if you need to, right knee to elbow, and left. Two more times through, make sure your right and left wrist are both below your shoulders. 
Abs are engaged the whole time. Last time here. Elbow or knee to elbow. Nice. Knees apart, big toes together. Breathe and sit back. Nice cat stretch. Glance to the ceiling. And let's come on up to the front of the mat. So no weight in your hand for now. Let's go ahead and take those legs the width of the mat. Walk those fingertips between your feet. Flex your feet and just start to bend your elbows. Roll it down nice and slow with that chest open. From the middle, come on up. And let's twist to one side, look behind you. Good. Try to keep that back arm up at shoulder height if possible. Strong from the middle, you're not flinging yourself all from the abdominal strength, lifting you up. Good, nice and strong, come on up. And twist and hold. Good, think about each part of every movement. If you would like to lift the toes up towards the fingers, you can. If you're gonna do that, let's take that other arm out to the side. But don't feel like you have to lift the legs. Hope you're proud of yourself for doing this today. Taking care of yourself, that's what healthy people do. Good. Let's do four more. From that middle, all the movements start there. Good, three more. Two more times. And one more time. Very good. Come on back, hug those knees into your chest. And as you exhale, let's draw circles with those knees. Slow and controlled. All right, let's extend our right leg up and the left foot can either, um, the knee can be bent or that left leg can be down. It's a little harder when it's down. You need more support, go ahead and bend that knee. Okay, so we're gonna take that left hand behind our, our head and we're gonna lift up and look over and lower the leg. Good, so my right arm is just extended out. Okay, so I'm twisting, aiming from my rib cage. Now I'm going to reach with my hand if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay, you could keep the hand behind the head. Let's try six more. Good. Five. Keep breathing. Four. Three, good reach. Two. And one, awesome. Knees one way, look the opposite direction. And switch. Good, now let's come on and rock ourselves so we're sitting up. With shoulders down, let's roll like a ball and hold our V-sit. So nice abdominals scooped in, hold it here. Feel free to take a foot down to the ground if you need to. 
but just make sure you hold the V-sit for a second, keeping that chest open. Make sure that that lift is nice and controlled. Last four. Good, last three. Two more. And one more time. Hold. And let's bring the feet together, but farther away from you. And let's go ahead and walk the hands towards those toes and fold. All right, we are gonna come back to our hands and knees. Make sure you're taking things at your pace. Take more of a break if you need it. So let's do those two great push-ups. Or make sure those wrists aren't way out here. They're right below your shoulders, abs lifted. Two push-ups. Left toes up and down slowly. Four, three, two, then all the way up, walking those hands back, nose towards your right knee. Gently swing through. Left knee is right above the ankle. Let's tuck the pelvis under. Lean it back. Good, let's tap the back toes, bring them out behind us. Right hamstring curl. Four, three, two, and one, gentle lunge, tuck the pelvis under, lean back. Good, down on your palms, left leg back. Down on those forearms and let's do alternating hip dips for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees apart. Big toes together, exhale, sit it back. Give yourself that nice cat stretch. Glancing up. Back to your two great push-ups. Wrist below the shoulders, chest leading, here we go. Left leg slowly up and down. Four, three, Two, all the way up, walk those hands back, nose towards the knee. Gently swing it through. Left knee is right above the ankle, tuck the pelvis under, lean it back. And let's bring that right leg out behind us. Find your focal point, hamstring. Four, three, two, gentle lunge, lean it back. Good, palms down, left leg back, you're on those forearms again, alternating hip dips. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and one. Nice, knees apart, big toes together, breathe and sit it back. And give yourself a nice cat stretch. Glancing up. Good, down for two push-ups, our last ones. Good, left leg slowly up and down. For four, remember that right knee can be down if you need it to. And then all the way up, let's walk those hands back. Nose towards that right knee. Gently swing through. Left knee's right above the ankle. Tuck the pelvis under, lean back. Good, let's take that right leg behind us again. Abs are engaged. Hamstring curl. Four, three, two, and one. Gentle lunge, lean it back. Good, palms down, left leg back. On those forearms for your hip dips last time. Eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and awesome. Woo! Knees apart, big toes together, breathe. Give yourself that nice cat stretch. Glancing up. And good, we're gonna come to a forward fold again. Let's bring the feet up about the width of the mat apart. Hold onto those elbows and just gently rock yourself side to side. The whole torso comes towards one leg and then the other. Nose towards that right knee as you breathe. Right arm up, gentle twist. And nose towards that left knee. Good, gentle twist. And let's hang the arms down. You can even bend your knees, roll it up slowly. Shoulders back a couple times. All right, we're gonna get one glider as well as that one weight. So now our left leg is gonna go back as the weight comes in front of us. So we're gonna slide it back and bring it up. Your left leg's the one moving this time. Nice deep lunge. Good. Make sure you're not holding your breath at any point. Good. Lingering out there in that lunge for just a second each time. Think about keeping the middle engaged as well. Last eight. Seven. That's six. And five. Four more. Three. and one. Now we're going to lift that left knee up, find a focal point, toes up and the weight up as well if you want to. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Woo. Shake it out a little bit. And now like we did on the other side, that left leg's going to slide to the left. The weight comes to your right. So go ahead and slide it out and bring it in. Again, using, utilizing those inner and outer thighs. They help support the knees. Keeping us strong and being able to do this for years and years to come. That's the goal. Good. Blessed to be healthy enough to be doing all this. I have a fellow instructor friend that's recovering from knee surgery right now. So we can all be feel grateful to be able to be able to do this. Last six. And five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, we're 
we're gonna come to those left toes and crunch for eight, seven, rib cage to hip bone, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, feet together, left arm reaches. Good. All right, we're gonna use both gliders. And we're gonna come to the back of the mat. What you're gonna be doing is hands down to the mat, sliding those gliders back. We'll do a couple splits, stand up and roll our shoulders back, okay? Straightest legs as possible, okay? So hands down. Trying to keep the legs straight, let's press them back. Do two splits. Pull those feet towards you and stand up. You're just pulling them as close back to the mat as you can, okay? It takes that abdominal strength as well. Press back, two splits. Pull those paper plates towards you and shoulders back, good. Come on down. Two splits. One more time, you guys. Very good. Shoulders back. Go ahead and take one arm across, look over your shoulder and switch and let's briefly pull those fingertips back and switch all right paper plates to the side let's take those knees apart big toes together and look up to your right and rotate your wrist and then right hand palm up underneath the left rest on the right side of the face and walk your left fingertips towards the front of the mat. As the back of the left hand rests on your low back, just relax your shoulders, wiggle those fingers. Deep breaths. And slowly untwist. Let's look up to the left, rotate the wrist. And left hand palm up underneath the right. Rest on the left side of the face. Walk your right fingertips to the front. And back of that right hand to your low back. Allow the shoulders to relax. Good. We're going to untwist. Have a seat at the front of the mat. Deep breath in. Let's reach towards your ankles or your feet and just bend those elbows. Good, and let's roll down one vertebra at a time. That chest is open. And we're gonna go ahead and extend your left leg up. If you need more support, bend that right knee, otherwise keep it straight. And what you're gonna do is come up towards that right leg, or excuse me, towards that left leg, and lower as you come down. Good, moving from that rib cage area, not pulling on the head and neck. And if you want to, you reach up towards that foot. You don't have to do that part. And reach, good. Six more. That's five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Exhale again, draw all those circles, massage your low back. 
One more abdominal exercise and then the rest is stretch. Let's start at the top. Start sitting up here, shoulders down, and let's kick those feet in your V-sit. Abs are strong. Four, three, two, one. Lift those hips. Four, just doing the best you can. Good, lift the hips, very controlled. Four, three, two, one, and lift. Two more times, you guys. Four, three, two, one, one more time. Four, three, two, and awesome. Whew. Arms out, feet far apart. Let's windshield wiper those knees, look in one direction, and then switch. Good job, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this with me today. Let's walk the feet towards our fingertips and hold on to your ankles if you can or touch your heels and let's lift those hips up into our bridge. Deep breaths. Exhale, lower down nice and slow. Crossing that right leg on top. Let's hold on to your feet, ankles, or shins, and gently pull the feet towards the shoulders. Letting go of that left leg, gently pull that right foot towards the middle of the chest. And then gently push that right heel up. You don't have to straighten the leg just to feel enough of a right hamstring stretch. And exhale, hug both knees in. And let's cross the left leg on top this time. Hold on to your shins, ankles, or feet. And gently those feet pull towards your shoulders. Deep breath. Let's let go of that right leg and let's pull the left foot gently towards the middle of the chest. And then again, gently pressing that left heel up towards the ceiling. You don't have to straighten it just till you get enough of a left hamstring stretch for you. Now let's go ahead and rock yourself so you're sitting up. Take your right leg extended and cross your left leg over. Right arm hugs that knee in with shoulders down, head up. Look over that left shoulder, gently twist. Now let's take that left knee out to the side and walk our hands towards that right leg, nose towards your right knee. And then walk the hands to the middle here. Relax your foot, bend your elbows. Now we're gonna cross the right leg on top. Left arm hugs that knee in. Shoulders down, head up. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Good, let's go ahead and let that right knee come out to the side. Walk the hands towards that left leg, nose towards that knee. And hands to the middle, gently bend those elbows. Good. Nice deep breath in. Blow it out. And give yourself a nice hug and pat on the back. Thanks for joining me for Pilates, guys. High five.